For more on the pros and cons of Hamburg's Smart Harbour, I'm joined by Sandro Geiken from the European School of Management and Technology. Good to have you here with us. Hello. Now, we just seen this one report and there was one sentence that stuck out, for me at least. It said traffic congestion hasn't improved. Do you think this pilot project failed or is it too soon to judge? I think it's a bit too soon to judge, maybe. Um, they will, it takes a long time to optimize these IT processes onto the specific implementation they're having. And something like the, a big harbor is really very unique, so it's not a standard business application where you know exactly what you do. Um, but still, most of the promises we get from IT companies regarding efficiency, regarding the better quality of your life, of your work process, of everything, usually don't live up to expectations. You have a lot of follow-on costs, especially with these huge complex products and, and processes like SAP into is such a big harbor, uh, you're never done implementing, complexity issues arise, and of course security is a big issue. I was just issue. about to say, we heard about yeah. the uh, hackers attack of the Antwerp harbor. I mean, what kind of damage uh, can happen? In, in this case, uh, the damage could be uh, gigantic. I mean, it's like uh, you could, we have new kinds of wiper malwares which wipe all sorts of data, so you could lose all the data about all the containers, where everything is, what is in there, you have to open up everything, and something like that happening in the, in the harbour of Hamburg could would be a, big be a problem. disaster. Yeah. Now, a, a major uh, hacker scandal is in the news this week, the hacking of Ashley Madison's site and the possible release of private information from millions of subscribers. And this attack has brought home once again that data security is a huge issue for individuals, business, but even for the government. A hacker attack on the German parliament, the Bundestag, earlier this year caused a major scandal. We remember that well. Nevertheless, despite all those dangers, all in all, what would you say are the potentials of smart data? For example, for infrastructure projects. Well, there is a certain potential in infrastructure projects. As a German, you tend to be more critical towards these things because we have very good processes already uh, analyzing all these things. We know a lot about automation, we know a lot about infrastructure project processes, but still, if you know everything uh, about these projects, because if you generate data everything, every, everywhere and you have smart algorithms giving you the information you need exactly, you could probably still optimize things. And in some cases, like very large projects, very exotic projects, this could be of help. And just briefly, where does German industry stand in terms of smart data? We know that SAP is very big when it comes to software. What else? Well, unfortunately, we have to say that Silicon Valley uh, was much faster than we were, uh, of course. And so some Chinese companies are coming in now, some other companies from other regions. So, so we are sort of late to the game. Uh, but on the other hand, we have a unique knowledge in production and heavy machinery and these kinds of things. So if it, when it comes to big data, smart data in that particular area, I think we still have a competitive advantage. All right. Well, we'll continue our little chat, uh, Sandra Geiken, so don't go anywhere. Uh,